With that perspective, joined now live from Iowa City by KCCI's Jason Ranella. Jason. Yeah, it was a tough loss for the Hawkeyes, but a big, big win for the Cyclones with all of it coming down to a field goal. And while it is just one game, every game is big for the fans. An overwhelming amount of black and gold turned to a sea of cardinal and gold. We come in large quantities, so you bet. Can't beat it. After Iowa State shocks the Hawkeyes Saturday in Iowa City. A fantastic finish, at least for Cyclone fans. It's excellent. It was a great game all the way around. We were able to get lucky for once, you know. We don't get too many breaks sometimes, but uh, I guess they did today, and, and uh, it came out all right for them. A lucky break in the form of an ill timed timeout saved the day for Iowa State. Thanks, parents, for calling the timeout. That's all we need. We need all we need is two shots for that. The whole. Uh... Instance of icing the kicker really bit us in the butt this time. It was an unlucky break for Iowa and their fans. You go into halftime with an 11-point lead, then you come out of the game with a three-point loss. I mean, it doesn't get more frustrating than that. He missed the first one, and then we called a timeout. So congratulations, Kirk Ferentz. Cyclone fans call it a season-saving victory. I think this turns Iowa State season around. I congratulate him on the win. Yeah, it saves the season. At least get something going. This is our Super Bowl. We can go. We can go anywhere after this. Yes, the Super Bowl of Iowa meant a lot across the state. Now fans are looking on to next week. Go state. Go state. Long season ahead. Can't wait. Now the Cyclones have an off week to recover. As for the Hawkeyes, they are taking on Pittsburgh next week. All right, Jason Randall, live in Iowa City. What an amazing game! Thanks, Jason.